Hey, I'm Nathaniel Fawson. I'm a professional archaeologist with over 10 years of experience studying and working in the part of America that we call the Eastern Woodlands. I haven't had much time to write or work for the channel recently, but I do want to address a question that I got in the uh, Crow Creek Massacre video uh, a couple of weeks ago. So the practice of scalping. There's a popular myth that says that scalping was introduced to indigenous Americans by European colonizers. And if you don't know, scalping is the practice of cutting the skin of a person from the forehead across the top of the scalp and collecting it as a war trophy. I'm not sure where this idea comes from that Europeans introduced it to America, but I remember hearing it when I was in elementary school. And I've seen it repeated in my comments sections and a couple of other places on the internet. The reality is that we see very clear signs that this uh, form of trophy taking was practiced in North America long before European contact. Of course, there's the Crow Creek Massacre site, but I've seen it myself at the Williams Springs site in Alabama. And I'll throw a link to the site report uh, in the description along with the Crow Creek video. So another thing is that at the time of contact, Europeans who were observing this form of trophy taking didn't have a word for it. They had to describe it in, in detail. So clearly the practice was not known in Europe prior to contact with the Americas, or I, I say that, but there had been other forms of um, body mutilation for trophy taking in Europe several centuries earlier. So like the Celts at the time of Roman conquest were famously hit hunters. Um, but these traditions died out as the military culture transitioned from individual warriors fighting for you know, personal prestige to more formalized armies with a soldier's ethos that valued uh, group coordination over individual achievement. So like I said, that was going to be short, but uh, that's all I have for this one. Um, as always, if you have questions, leave those in the comments, and thank you for watching.